Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change fonts in Final Cut Pro 10. Impact, Helvetica, Comic Sans, Papyrus. Now I'm gonna share with you ways to customize your titles with font and color. I'll also show you some sites that I would recommend in order to pull in new fonts into your projects. And then as an added bonus, I'm gonna help you improve your workflow with text presets and shortcuts. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're in Final Cut. I have a few images here. One is of a nice sunset, but I need a title for it. Another is a movie theater. So we're gonna take a look at each of these and find ways to find the right title, the right font, color, etc., to work for us. So let's bring this in here. We're gonna bring in a custom title. So we're gonna click on titles in the browser over here. Look for custom. I'm gonna drag that right on top of this one. We'll just focus on this first clip here. So we're gonna close the browser bring up the inspector. I'm gonna do a couple different things with this here. Let's get the text in there. Sunset City. Now first thing, I'm gonna bring up the size, make sure that we can see it. Great, great, we'll bring it down to the side so we can mess with this more. Okay, so I'm gonna start with color. Let's start with the outline of the face. So this colored pencil menu is really great because you could find new colors you haven't thought about before. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull from the image using this dropper tool. So I'm gonna find a yellow right there. And in here we can actually adjust that, make it darker, lighter, mess around with that a little bit. So we've got a few controls here in the face. We've got the opacity, which basically just allows you to see through that font. So we're gonna keep that at 100. We can also change this to a gradient so if we wanted this to almost have the sunset look just like the background. All right, let's check out outline. Let's add an outline to this. As you can see, the, the initial outline color is red. I don't think we wanna deal with that. So let's say your font is, your title is way out here in the sky and that's where it needs to be, but it's difficult to read. So what you can do is you can bring in an outline. Let's find a color here. Let's make it real dark. We can mess with this a little bit. We can change the opacity. So it's just a subtle outline that's coming in. You can also change the blur. There's also glow, which basically does what we were doing with this last effect. Let's see the difference here. This one defaults to that color. Let's bring up the blur and the opacity and the radius, so yeah. So the text isn't playing real well with this glow right now, so. We'll save that for another time. Drop shadow is, is great. Drop shadow is one of my favorites. It's a nice subtle look. You can change it to a gradient or a texture. You've got the opacity where you can adjust just what you need. Um, you can also blur it a bit. Just almost add a little bit of feathering to it and you can change the distance from the actual text. So you can almost create a, um, an, it's sort of an echo of your text, just a shadow of it. You can change the angle as well. You know what, the sun's shining over there, so let's put the angle up. Now, we're gonna go back to font. We've been messing with color a little bit. Let's go back to the font and see if we can find something that works. So we've got a lot of fonts. This might take me a minute. I'll be right with you. All right, so I found the font I'm gonna go with. We're actually gonna move this down here. This looks like a, uh, like a postcard. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, so I got a font that I really like in here. Now what we're gonna do with each of these uh, examples is we're actually gonna come up here to this menu. Right now, I wanna show you how to save format and appearance attributes. So we're gonna call this Sunset City. Save that. Now if I were to add another title, what we could do is we could come up here and grab that Sunset City and throw in whatever else we want to say. If we want to call it um, City of Lights. 
All right, so for this next example, we're taking a look at this here. We got this title, bringing it up a little bit in size. Now, let's say you don't have a lot of time and you want just a, a quick title, just something that's pre-baked, ready to go. We're gonna click up here and we've got a few that we can check out. We can either go with some 2D styles or some 3D styles. I'm gonna come in here and find, let's see, what's something that would work in a theater. Ooh, that's fun. All right, we can make that even bigger. Movie night. Awesome. So it, it, it really fits with what we got going on here. So I know they're not wearing 3D glasses, but this is a theater after all. They do offer 3D. That look looks pretty cool. And you can also come in and, I think I found a font that I liked earlier. Yeah. You can kind of go with a style that just kind of works for a theater. Something you may have seen on a... Uh, at a, you know, a cinema or on, on a movie poster. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Now, even if you use Comic Sans in your project, we still want you to be a part of the Stupid Raisins community. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, let's say we got both of these ready to go. We got the Sunset City and we got the movie night, but let's say those fonts just aren't working for us. We're gonna try something out here. All right, so we're gonna go in search of a new font. I've got defont.com up here, and we're gonna try out cinema. We're gonna throw in our text, movie night. All right, so we'll throw in our text, movie night, and we got these appearing now. You know what, this looks great. We're kind of, maybe we're looking more for a, um, just a look that's like, oh, movie night, it's a date. So we're gonna download that one for now. Let's look for sunset, just see if something comes through for that. We're gonna type in sunset city, see what pops up. Kind of like that one. Ooh. We're gonna go for this one right here. Kind of still stays with that same design, but maybe just hits closer to what we're looking for. All right, now those fonts are gonna show up in your downloads folder or wherever else your uh, browser sends your files to. So we're gonna double click on these. And it's gonna unzip them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with Sunset. We double click Sunset. It brings up the example of all that's included with this one here. And we're going to install font. Boom, and let's do the same thing with Eclipse Cinema. Now what you'll need to do at this point is you will need to restart Final Cut Pro. All right, we've opened this back up. Let's go to each of our fonts and see where they're at. All right, so looking through here, we found it here, Sunset City. And we're rocking and rolling there. Now let's find the movie night one. There we go, super fun. Let's make that a little bigger. Movie night, nice. Now that we've found that, we're gonna create some text presets. So we're gonna save this one here as movie night. And we're gonna save this one as Sunset City 2. All right, so we can actually drop a new title, with Control T, and take this and change it to anything we want. We want to do it matching that one or matching the movie night. And we can put blank screen. Just like that, as easy as that. So without having to copy and paste or recreate every time, you can have similar titles appear across all of your videos. Awesome, now that you've learned how to change the font in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to make animated text in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.